What is up guys? Welcome back to Pokemon Black. Last episode, we arrived at Nacreen City and today we're going to continue off with our adventure. Alright, these old textile factories and store houses were abandoned, where emprising young people started using them as studios. That could be called the beginning of Nacreen City, the study of art. The study. The city of art. Anyways, we are going to explore what is in here, this town. Uh, so I'm going to talk to a few NPCs. I'm a poet. I write poems. Every day I stretch my imagination to devote myself to my creative activity. People dream when sleeping, but if a Pokemon dreams, I cannot imagine how it is. Oh, that's pretty neat. Anyways, let's talk to this trash can. Just kidding. Even the same kind of Pokemon can have different natures. Okay, that's pretty neat to know. Let's talk to John Lennon over here. I play the guitar enough Pokemon battles every day. I keep doing that because I enjoy it. Alright, that's good. Alright, so we go back to outside. Uh, I'm guessing this place is locked, we can't get in there. Or can we? Is there a way in there? Is there no? Okay. Oh! Oh, I went. I ran into the, the room next door, but I guess. Anyways, uh, let's go in here. Let's check out the museum. And look! We have this dude. I want to see... Things no one can see. The ideals of Pokemon inside Pokeballs. The truths of how trainers should be. And a future where Pokemon have become perfect. Do you feel the same? Sure, that's so. I think my friends and I should test you to see if you see this future too. Alright, starting off we're gonna get a battle with N here. I don't know what this guy's deal is, but he wants to keep fighting us, so... Alright, he's gonna start off with a Pedav. I... Sort of trained off screen. I defeated the trainers. Um, defeated the other trainers uh, around here. I'll probably just switch to El Jefe just so Rick Flair can gain some experience. Because I don't think he's good enough to fight a hit off that's level 13. So, um, alright. Let's see what we do here. Uh, Razor Shell should do a decent amount of damage. Maybe it'll kill it. I am not too sure on this. I don't know. I think it's it's two hit kill on Pidov here. All right, that was a crit. Jeez. All right, yeah, it's a two hit kill. Nice. All right. Damn. All right, we got a nice simple. Oh, I don't know the typing on this thing. Pretty sure it's a water type. That's the water type. Yeah, that's that little that little water thingy, Majig. All right, he should be level thirteen too. All right, so I'm just gonna go for confusion. Hopefully, it does a decent amount. I'm hoping for- okay, that did a lot, even though it was just a crit. Alright, hopefully I don't get one hit KO here. Alright, Ric Flair, do your thing. Alright, that was an- oh, confusion? Okay, that is good. Alright. And, oh, looks like Ric Flair is down. Ah, god dang it, Ric Flair. So not worry, he'll get stronger. He'll get stronger. Alright. Keep trying. Alright, alright. And I guess that's not. <laughs> wow, that sucks. Alright, so we get all these levels. Or these levels, these experience, which is pretty neat. Alright, Timber. Timber! Alright, we're gonna see if we can defeat it. Um, Timber is a fighting type, I believe. And that was really easy. Oh my gosh. I kind of feel bad because I kind of had uh, Ric Flair die there. Ouch. Don't worry, he'll gain levels. He's struggling a bit, but hey, we'll get him. We'll get him. Alright, so we defeated uh, N here. Right now my friends are strong enough to save all Pokemon. Maybe I can't solve the equation that would change the world. So I need power. Power enough to make anyone agree with me. Alright, you do that, sir. Now I know what power I need. Zekrom, the legendary Pokemon that, along the hero, created the Unova region. It's my turn to become that hero, and you and I will be friends. Okay, you're a big baby. Alright, we're gonna go heal up, and I'll see you guys in a bit. Alright, let's head off back to the museum so we can learn what's going on. Alright, let's go inside. Jesus, I can't ever get in buildings, can I? Alright, let's talk to this person. Wow, whenever I look at the skeleton, I'm fascinated. Oh, hey. Oh, welcome, I'm Hawes, the assistant director. Since you were kind enough to visit, I'll give you a tour of the museum. Alright. This consists of a dragon-type Pokemon. 
There was a theory that it had an accident when it was flying around the warp. Alright, I got rudely interrupted there. Sorry about that. Um, so it became a fossil. Hmm. Alright. This rock is amazing. It's a meteorite and contains some kind of energy from space. Ooh, what's this? Oh, it's an ordinary stone. It was found near the desert, but other than the fact that it's old, it doesn't have to seem any value. I'll only display it because it's rather pretty to look at. Alright, I guess that's good. Oh, I'm getting tired here. It's a museum. Pokemon Gym is just beyond here. At the end of it, the gym is a very strong kind of gym leader's waiting. By the way, the gym leader in Aurora happens to be my wife. Ah! I don't know who your wife is, but hey, we could try to challenge her for the badge. Gym leader studies fossils and ancient artifacts. So I'm guessing she's a rock type gym leader. Is that what you're guessing? Um, think again. I guess you ran out a bit. Anyways, let's go inside here. I have gym battle. Gyms. Stuff. Anyways. Pokemon Gym where the leader waits for a challenger at the back of the museum. It has a great atmosphere, doesn't it? So I'll give this to you. We got a fresh water. Nice. Thirsty mofos. Alright, so normal Pokemon. Normal Pokemon are weak against fighting type Pokemon. Around here, fighting type Pokemon show up around Pinwheel Forest. So now I'll explain about the gym leader itself. In this Pokemon Gym, if you answer hidden questions in books, you can move forward. For your information, the first book is nice to meet you, Pokemon. If you don't know where the book is, just ask anyone. Alright, so we're going to be getting in our first gym battles, so let's talk to you and we will defeat you because you are lame. Alright, we defeated that kid. Uh, let's see, this is the bookshelf for children's books. Nice to meet you, Pokemon. Do you want to read this book? Yes, we do. So we're talking about a little boy who met a Pokemon for the first time in his life. He is with a small brown Pokemon. There's a map between the pages. Pokemon trainers, I am the gym leader, Nora. Lenora, I hid four members in the library. Each of them has a question. You saw the questions and come find me? Now this is the first question. What is the first Pokemon you met in this gym? Kintus in the bookshelf in the Mill Row shop. Try to find it. Alright, so we gotta go to a bookshelf in the Mill Row. I'm pretty sure we gotta talk to this trainer to get to it. You found a member already and you're looking for a book about Pokemon? Teehee, I'm in fact also reading a book about Pokemon. It's about Tepig. I wonder if the first Pokemon you met in this gym was a Tepig. No, it wasn't. Alright, what's the Pokemon you battled the entrance of the gym? Bookshop on the left. Okay, so we don't have to battle her. But let's get this one here. Go to Pokemon Shelf, full Pokemon, the Biogili Patrat. Bad to like to read the book, blah blah blah. Patrat, this Pokemon we saw. Yes. Okay. There's my one on the back cover. As I thought that question was easy, well this is the second question. Flame burns inside its body and gizzles. Okay. We know this is uh Tepig, because we literally just talked to her, so let's just talk to her again. And. Alright, let's talk to you. Yes, alright, we're gonna have to, like, beat her ass, so. Give me a second. Oh, what? Wait a minute. Did you figure it out? The answer is maybe not be a living thing, haha. -ha. Oh, okay. I guess we're wrong. I'm pretty sure it's. Should be this one over here. Alright, that was maybe. My beat. Alright. Alright, he buries in po Poffins! Ooh. Okay, that's not the book we're looking- Okay, I'm bad at reading. I'll cut myself. Wait, what? I'll, I'll cut to where we have to be. BRB. Hmm, I see. Did you find the memo? Couldn't you have to look at this book? What does the memo say? Flame burns inside his body and gives all smoke. Okay. I think about called a structure of a locomotive. Is a crack answer? Yes, it is! Okay, we got the right book this time! Alright, we're gonna- Ah. Uh, I don't want to read! Oh my goodness, this is so great. Whoa, what's with all this XP? I am confused. Okay. You get all this for winning. Thank you. Alright, return a book to the shelf after reading. This is the world when you read a book. Alright, uh... I'm gonna go heal up because... Reason! Alright, let's read this book. This is the bookshelf for general studies. The structure of a locomotive. Do you want to read this book? Yes, we do. Flame burns inside its body and it gives off smoke in its head while it runs by using steam power. Alright. There is a memo on the back cover. It's impressive you found this place. That's what I like to expect from a challenger like you. Well, this is the third question. You heat it up in a pot, it'll be delicious. What is this? Book? Okay. Alright, we know what this is. We are going to read the book that's next, which is this one. Alright. Bookshelf, Swiss for Pokemon. Yeah, it's about puffins, but yeah, we know about Sinnoh and all that stuff. Now that you get here about a trick by the question, now this is the last question. 
this bookshelf, move two backward, and then move to the one to the left. Two forward, and move to the one to the right. Move one backward, now where is it? Can't just find it by yourself. I uh, don't know which bookshelf she's talking about, but it has to probably be this one over here. Okay, this is the bookshelf for general studies. I'm pretty sure this is the book, and this is not the book we're looking for. Okay, we're going back to this. Alright, I'm pretty sure it's this one this time. Alright. We challenge the gym leader if you win against me. Oh, god dang it, we're gonna have to battle some motherfucking cheap pieces. This is the bookshelf for Pokemon, the biology of a Tepig. Would you like to read this book? It describes the biology of Tepig. Flame burns inside its body and gives off flame from its nostrils. When it's not well, it can give off only smoke. There's a memo between the pages. You managed to get here! Well done! You have seemed to have wisdom as well as strength. I look forward to your battle, Jim Leader Nora. Click! There's a switch behind the book. Oh, it looks like we're getting some secret stuff here. Alright. So it looks like we're going to battle some Lenoras. First, I gotta heal once again. Alright, we're back fully healed and ready to fight. Ah, let's get started. Welcome! The director of the Night Green Museum and the Night Green Gym's leader is me, Lenora. Well then, Challenger, I'm going to research how you battle with the Pokemon you so lovingly raised. Alright, let's go with Gym Leader Lenora, who somehow reminds me of my mother. Okay, let's do this! She's gonna start out with a Hurtier. Alright. It's level 18. Rick Flair is pretty much level 14. And Intimidate's gonna lower my defense, which is pretty tame. Okay. Oh, now I'm gonna defense my attack. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch into El Jefe. That way, I can not get the lowered attack stat and just go for the Razor Shell, which is ridiculously OP right now. Watch this. Boom! Lord is defense. That way, every time I hit him, it should do a lot. Alright, alright. Alright, I see what you're doing. It's, uh, pretty shit. Alright, um, got interrupted again? Ah, damn it. Keep telling everybody to stop coming to my room when I'm recording. Okay. Hopefully, we can stay alive, though. And he's being stupid. Why is he. Oh no. Well, okay, you use a super motion when I use a super motion. That's pretty bullshit, honestly. Uh, right, we can defeat this Herdier though. Not that hard. We just gotta keep healing. Hopefully, we don't die. I don't think she can even heal anymore, to be honest. Uh, so I'm gonna go for one more. Alright. And I avoided the attack. Thank you. Alright, I'm gonna probably get a shit ton of XP right now. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Alright, whoa, why am I getting so much XP, guys? I'm sorry. It's really fucking good. It's really nice grinding. It's probably because we haven't met this Pokemon before. Alright, Heart Stamp. What's Heart Stamp? Um, let's see. Heart Stamp, let's see what it does. Vicious, uh, vicious Blow After It Gets Cute Act Makes It Talk to the Library. Okay, so it's pretty much like the bite out of, uh... Bite for psychic types, pretty much. It makes people flinch. So I'm just gonna get rid of Older Sleuth because I find it completely useless, and she's gonna send out Watch Hog. Um. Right, Ric Flair, try your best, okay? I'm gonna see how much you can do against uh, the Watch Hog. This thing knows a, a Super Fang, I think. No matter grim situation, I'll use my research skills to find a winning strategy. Alright, so let's hope that Heart Stamp can do something, and I forgot that. It's super effective on me. God dang it. Alright. Looks like it's all up to El Jefe. Okay. Hopefully the Razor Shell is OP. What? Really? Okay. This is really getting annoying now. This thing has Hypnosis at level 20. And it has Leer. So it's probably going to start spamming Leer on me. Until I can just die in one hit. And I am not gonna give up, and it has Retaliate, which is gonna be very if- I- I can't believe I lost that. One hit. Come on, do something, Heart Stamp. Oh my goodness! What?! 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 Fun. Guys, this took like four fucking takes. Jesus Christ. Oh my god. 
I really need to train Ric Flair off screen. This took four takes. Oh my goodness. Your fighting style is so enchanting. It is charming. You are a Pokemon trainer worthy of resuming this basic badge. Well, you're a basic bitch. Fuck you, Lenora. Holy fuck. Guys, oh my god. I died four times trying to beat her. Ah, uh, at least we got the badge. Jeez. I need to train up, guys. Oh my god. I not believe. I'll train up, honestly. Alright, we're gonna get TAM67 Retaliate, which means, um, pretty much if a party member gets killed and Pokemon you put up next, if it has this move, the move will deal double the damage. Um, uh, yeah. Pretty much he's explaining what I did. Dear! Oh. Dear, come quickly! Team Pasma's threatening to steal some bones! Huh? Well, what's going on? Ruben, you come too. Can you at least hear my Pokemon? Please? Bitch? I beat you! Oh my god! Okay. Uh. Do we at least get healed? Is that a thing? Can I get healed at least? I mean. We won. Uh. I'll see. I'll see, that's a thing. Hmm. Alright, let's go. Whew. Okay. Now you wait, enough fooling around. Ah, so you come, Jin Leader. We, Team Plasma, claim this museum of dragons called the name of the Pokemon Liberation. Uh, to show you we're serious, we'll see it right before your eyes. Well then, here's our smoke screen. Plasma, plasma. These guys are really annoying, and they just took the skeleton out of a dragon. Dragonite? Ugh. Alright. What's going on? Oh, we have to go after them. Oh boy, we do, but we are gonna go after them in the next episode. Next time on Pokemon Black, we are going to chase after... What's going on? Hold on. Good day, Lenora. Find any fossils lately? This is a surprise visit. Are you going to suffer from artist block again? Why did I give her this weird fucking accent? Ribbon, this is Berg. He may not look like it, but he's the Castellus City's gym leader. Uh, eh? I'm just looking for a change of pace. Seems hectic or something around here. What's up? Oh, what's up? Someone just walked away with an exhibit. That's what's up. Hey, look, Bianca's here. Oh, Lord, what's everybody doing here? Hey, Sharon. What's up? Is there some kind of problem? Yeah, and these two are your friends? Hmm. Bianca and Sharon. Oh, I see. They're trainers. Okay, let's split up and search. I'll head this way. I like how she doesn't even tell them. Wait. Okay, yeah, she doesn't even tell him what the hell's going on. She's just gonna, like, assume that stuff. Anyways. Okay, she wants to go to Pinwheel Forest with Berg. Uh, so you're Ruben, is it? Are you raring to round up any uh, robbers? Uh, yeah. And I was about to finish my outro, but hey. Oh, Ruben, take this with you. Fendel gave me this dowsing machine to give you. Alright, so we got a dowsing machine. I'll probably end up not using this. Uh, I don't know. You can use a dowsing machine to find places where items are hidden. Uh, she can find stuff you can't even see. You get some really good nifty items here, but I really don't use this in any of my playthroughs through the games of Pokemon. <laughs> Honestly, I just play to beat the game. So that's just my thing. But hey, I am going to end the episode off here, guys. So yes, next time on Pokemon Black, we are going to go to Pinwheel Fortress with Berg. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.